Police say a sprawling mansion in a quiet, high-end neighborhood just north of Toronto was concealing a big secret behind its walls, an illegal casino and spa. Slots, table games, top-shelf alcohol all inside, protected by fully loaded firearms. York police have now seized the home in Markham, and Greg Ross tells us more. It was an investigation that lasted months, dubbed Project Endgame by police. This is a video of a police raid of the mansion in Markham on July 23rd, and police say what they found inside was nothing short of shocking. We arrested 29 people, including the owner-operator, and seized 11 firearms with thousands of ammunition, gaming tables and machines, one and a half million dollars of alcohol, and $1 million of cash. Police had some of these items on display, including this AR-15 rifle found in one of the bedrooms. This firearm was fully loaded with a 30-round magazine and available within easy access to anyone in the room. Police called it a high-end operation, complete with armed guards and high-tech video surveillance. Police say gaining access to these gates was by invite only. But once inside, clients were offered bed and breakfast style accommodations, a casino with gaming tables and slot machines, as well as a number of other expensive services. Gamblers had access to accommodation, spa treatments, high-end food and beverage services. Human sex trafficking is also suspected and is under investigation. Also in the basement was a full cash bar with over 4,000 bottles of top shelf alcohol and a full wine cellar valued at $1.5 million. In all, 29 people were charged and are facing a total of 74 offences. They were all Canadian residents, but police say it's quite possible this gaming house had clientele that spanned the globe. We heard the same uh, or had the same uh, intelligence that people were coming um, from all over essentially, but also from China to gamble at this location. Police have seized all of the gambling equipment and the mansion itself, which they say is valued at $9 million. They say the owners of the home and those running the casino all had ties to organized crime. Greg Ross, CBC News, Markham.